Welcome to Snapsat, the fastest and easiest way to process and download Landsat 8 imagery. So, just what is Landsat, and what's the purpose of this website? We'll attempt to answer those questions in this short video. Landsat 8 circles the Earth and takes pictures of the surface in varying wavelengths. It creates a complete set of images once every 16 days. You can combine these wavelengths in various combinations to produce images that can tell us stories about what's happening on our planet. Previously, if you wanted to work with Landsat images, you needed to use a command line tool and then combine the images yourself. This is often a tedious and difficult process with a steep learning curve. Snapsat makes it easy. You can read our guide for more information. Here are some typical ways to use Snapsat. Down here in the lower right hand corner, we have a search button and some zoom buttons. Enter a location into the search field. If you simply want to explore the Earth, you can also scroll around to find something cool. The numbered boxes, known as the path and row, correlate to a specific region regularly captured by Landsat. This is how to identify which Landsat images you're interested in. Let's take a look at Trinidad and Tobago. Snapsat will recenter our map for us. Now we move down either by clicking here or by scrolling down in your browser. Trinidad and Tobago span two separate scenes, 233.52 and 233.53. You can see which path and row Snapsat has selected under the Select a Date heading. Notice that sometimes the scenes overlap, and that's when Snapsat will give you a choice of which scene to use. Let's take a look at Trinidad, which is 233.53. Selecting a date is the next task at hand. On the left of the screen, we see some background information about Snapsat. On the right, we see a list of dates and cloud cover. If you want an image that has only a few clouds, select a date with a low cloud cover percentage. These images are generally the most useful. Let's select the date with the lowest cloud cover, January 28, 2015. Each Landsat scene has a unique scene ID. Each scene also has a unique URL, so you can bookmark it if you wish. Throughout the Snapsat site, you may notice these ellipses. These indicate that there is more information available. Here you can see an explanation of what this long scene code means. Here's a gray map with a red box representing where the scene is located and some associated metadata down below. Now we can make a small preview of the scene or see what other users have previously rendered by selecting one of these buttons. As you can see, there's already a natural color image of this scene and the band numbers for that is 432. If that's what you were looking for, great, you can skip ahead. If not, you can make a brand new preview from scratch just below. On the right hand side, you can see three pre-selected combinations of 432, 764, and 543. If any of those interest you, go ahead and click one of those buttons to create a new preview. Snapsat also gives you the option of choosing your own bands here. Let's choose a combination and see what it looks like. This square shows a small partial preview of the image. If you want to see the entire scene, click the image. Now we see the full preview of our image. You can click it to see it full screen. Now go back to the preview page. If this scene looks acceptable to you, you can now request a full size image. A full size composite is big and takes time to process. Depending on site traffic, this usually takes around three minutes, but it can take longer during times of heavy traffic. If you don't want to wait, you can enter your email address, and we'll send you an email telling you where to download your completed composite once it's ready. Otherwise, you'll eventually see this button turn blue. Once you download your composite, you can view your area of interest in full resolution. Check out the guide for an in-depth explanation of the site. We greatly appreciate feedback, so feel free to contact us. Also, if you'd like to contribute, pull requests are welcome on GitHub. Thanks for visiting Snapsat.